their perception of um, music, I mean, never mind the fact that, you know, Dad's MC Neat, standard, that's, that in itself is, you know, incomprehensible. It's like, because that, your dad, you know, where does that position like a Neat in their record collection is a whole different kind of thought process, isn't it? But they must have a different concept to the value of music because that's been their financial upbringing. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, yeah. I mean... What a crazy I, like, concept. I mean, luckily, I'm seen as... I'm still a cool dad. Mm. <laughs> you, know, you know, the days my kids... It's all say, I ask yeah, for. The day I get a tap on the shoulder. Cool. The day you get a tap on the shoulder and say, Dad, you know what, boy, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I heard that last song and I think that maybe it's time to just hang up that mic. <laughs> I'm hanging up immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah immediately. I'm waiting for the... If they, if they, if they say, I'm, I'm out of the game. You know yeah. I mean? But as it stands, Dad... Yeah, you're still cool. They send me, they'll be, they send me video. I mean, we've done Gladstonbury last year. My daughter was at the front. Stop. Yeah. And like, she's there, like, 40,000 people at this stage thing. And That's all, mad. It's crazy. And like, she's there jumping all her friends, you know, jumping yeah. around and blah, blah, blah. And I'm still dad. So I said, mm. yeah, we got my daughter, May May, over there. I said, May May, I know all the security in here. <laughs> <laughs> KillerKellerOfficial.com Street Culture TV Beatbox created KillerKeller And we're here to talk about world music and street culture KillerKeller Podcast Alright Ah, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast live and direct central London, or as central as you need to be, could be, choose to be. You don't want to be anywhere else. Big shout out to the shares and carers. People have been clocking and spotting and uh, supporting from the jump. It's, it's been a ride, a wild ride of oblivion and ecstasy, but yet we're still here. So well done for you and big shout outs for the support. Our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hot Awards Summer 2024. Inside the house, we have an OG established legendary status in the world of garage music, um, which was commercialised in 2000 by uh, the man and peoples themselves. Um, the likes of Oxide Neutrino, so solid. There was a, a duo that really took and set precedence and uh, allowed for the ever-flourishing genre to take shape and be popularised. Uh, his uh, cohort is Mr DJ Luck, who's been on the show, and with me right now, MC Newt! <laughs> You go, you go, oh, good. Go. Wow, we've been waiting for this one. Though. No, we're I'm looking telling you what. <laughs> it's been a journey, isn't it? A real journey. One hell of a fucking... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, one hell of a journey, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life, life. Mm. Life does take you into places, doesn't it? Life takes you all over the place where you didn't plan to go. Did you ever anticipate... I mean, this is... We're jumping straight in now, like heroes do, heroes of popracy. Uh, yeah, do you, do you ever prepare yourself for such uh, an impactful kickstart of your music career like that? No, you never do, because, I mean, like like the title of the song, A Little Bit of Luck, it was literally luck. <laughs> and we just rolled with it, and we're still rolling with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Me and Joel met by luck, mm. you know, um, with um, our, our my DJ on Chicago being ill, mm. Mix Master J, Big Up Yourself. Big Up Mix Master J, yeah. Ooh, right. Should be. Rest well, rest <laughs> well, yes. We did it for years. <laughs> but, um, but, like, he was ill, so... Joel was the replacement, luck, and um, that was it. We met there, done a done a done the show, and um, he was nervous as hell. Yeah, I'll never forget <laughs> that one. I would tell him he's nervous, hands are shaking, everything. Yeah. Needle drop in, and yeah, no, you mean the needle of the record? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe put the record on the needle because yeah, the needles yeah, were yeah. all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> right down to the end of the yeah. record. Yeah. So um, um, we we done the show, and then he said, um, "What am I doing in my intro dub?" Because he was, you know, because he was starting DJing out in a few places, Dust Till Dawn and them sort of places, mm. Belugas. Mm. And uh, remember the old Belugas? Mm. Which, you know, Google, 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 yeah. get it with people, yeah. come on. Yeah, it's a strip club now. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, in fact, you went to a strip club and now it's moved from something else. Mm. They just keep moving it. Yeah, but yeah. basically, um, so I said, yeah, no problem. So we went to a little, I, I ironically drove past the place where we made a little bit of luck yesterday. Stop it. Yeah, it's just down in West Hampstead. One of them little... The back, the back routes, because the, the sat nav said, "Don't stay on the quicks road, go around the back." Stop it! Because I have to get to Walls and Lane, so um, I went around the back and I drove past. And I looked up, I thought, "Oh my good god, that's mm. where it began!" In the top floor 
of that little flat just above the shops, <laughs> little row of shops. It was up there and we made a 50 pound dub plate with a guy called Kung Fu John. I call him Kung Fu John because he used to dress up in the full Bruce Lee outfit. <laughs> Complete. I'm talking the full, really? the, 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 the black man, little granddad collars. It's one hell of a character, and, right? He had the slippers and everything. And like, so I'm like, me, me, me and me and Luck, we're thinking, my man must be a bad man kung fu guy, you know what I mean? So one day I said to him, bruv, why do you wear all this kung fu thing? Like, you know, were you fourth dan, fifth dan? He came from Manchester. He said, nah, kid, um, I just like the outfit. <laughs> That's fucking great. That's it. He said I couldn't punch myself. That's amazing. <laughs> so, what? Okay, so all this time we've been thinking this guy's a bad man. It's like a that. threat of what he's wearing. It's like, you know, being in the military yeah, or something. I mean, you see a guy walk around in the daytime in full <laughs> Bruce Lee kit. You're thinking, yeah. you know, this is for a reason. I'm going to mess with him. Yeah, it's for a reason. But no, he just liked the outfit. <laughs> I think he's, um, his wife was Japanese. She got it. She got it for him on her travels and he's been wearing it ever since. Mm, yeah. So never took it off, kind of thing. Yeah, that was it. So every time we saw him, he was wearing that. So um, so we done the dub plate and then um Joel started playing out and belugas and stuff and dust all dawn. Mm. And he came to me one day and he said, Bruv, they want they want um you to do a PA of the dub plate. I looked at him like mm. You mean that kind of, what you talking about, Willis? You know, that kind of look. Yeah. And I thought, what? Bruv, it's a dub play. It's not a record. It's not, it's not a song. That don't make no sense. It's a, That's like EZ, you know, DJ, EZ. E, e, it's like someone standing there and doing a PA of that. Mm -hmm. I thought, that, bruv. It, that makes sense. It don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, no, seriously. I said, oh, all right, all right. So we went to Dust Till Dawn, EC1, and Lindsay Moore, was on before us doing Love Bug. Love Bug is a massive tune. Mm. I am now full gack in it mode because <laughs> she's killing it here. You mean it? Yeah, was dancing around. I'm thinking, oh my God. Come on after gonna, this, what? They're going to come on after this and do a bloody dub play. Mm. How is this going to go down? Mm. So I've, I didn't know, as simple as Little Bit of Luck is, I didn't know there's there's different like drops, mm. and stages, it changes, you know, the tanani tanani to the to the to the little bit of luck. Mm. How many of them there's I don't know how many of them there are mm -hmm. to the we done the faster fight and you got you know we done the faster fight eat we done the fight and then DJ luck there's little drops. I didn't have a clue oh, yeah. where what changed from where from what from how. So I'm thinking, oh boy bro you should have studied this thing. You should have some homework bro. <laughs> Luckily the crowd knew it all. I done it. They done the. They done the PA. I just followed them. You well, know, like a teleprompter kind of thing. I, I, they were. They knew exactly when they were all dead singing. And I looked at him and he said, "See." And I went, "What the oh, hell is this? Mm. This is but this is a dub plate." And then after that, then someone came and said, "Oh, you want to make a, a red rose? Yeah, do you want to make a, a record out of the dub plate?" I thought, really? Okay. And it sold seventeen thousand vinyl copies on the underground. You know, you 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 black market yeah. records. You, you mean all over the place, baseline kill, but yeah. everywhere. And I thought this is just insane. And then they we got a call saying, "Oh, do you were you guys um, pressing the dub plates? You were pressing them up? No, no, no. Basically, the dub, the original. A lot of people. Right, let me just clear this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people. They say they they assume me now. They say, "Oh yeah, neat. I got one of the original records. The original, the red vinyl." I say to them, "That's not the original." the original vinyl of Little Bit of Luck, and there was only 10 of them, and they were numbered, and Luck, to this day, is regretted the fact that he didn't keep one for himself. Oh. He, di he did have one, yeah. but he gave it away, thinking I'll just get another one. Mm. But the original 10 copies of Little Bit of Luck is on black vinyl. Wow. I wonder how much they go for. <laughs> Crazy. If, if you have a Little Bit of Luck on black vinyl, that is the gold mine. You've got more than a little bit of luck yeah. on your hands with that. <laughs> yeah. it? That is the gold mine. Number mm. one to ten. There was mm. only ten of them. You know I mean, and he he was pressing up um, acetate, going music house, getting the acetate dub plates, mm. and like it, you know, hundred plays. He was doing about five hundred plays out of this dub plate. By the time, by the by the fourth hundred <laughs> play, when he put it on the record, it's to slide across. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to play. He was doing with his hands. <laughs> Hold down the needle. Yeah. Oh, I've got to go get another dub plate. Get another, but it's longer, oh. isn't it? It's longer. Yeah. But yeah, that, that 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 was it. So we done that, and um, it was long doing dub plates back then because there was a queue. There was like drum and bass, garage. Yeah. Everyone trying to get yeah. a dub plate back yeah. then, it was, right? It was all all the all the the the, the dancehall artists 
they used to kill it. Hmm. Yeah, they'd come over here, you know, cutty ranks and all them type of people mm-hmm. there, and they'd be in there cutting 25 dubs, all the same dub for mm-hmm. different sounds. Mm-hmm. They didn't care. Mm-hmm. They had no morals at all. You mean, you like, you want this exclusive dub plate to play against this sound? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And when they play it, they have a sound plays exactly the same dub plate. Yeah, because the artist was in there cutting 25 <laughs> yeah. of them for so, everybody. Shot and shot and shot and yeah, shot. Yeah, just shot and shot. Mm-hmm. He doesn't care. As long as you pay him, he's, mm-hmm. he's, he's doing it. Mm-hmm. The whole weekend is just the flooded. The whole weekend, yeah. Uh-huh. So it was it was long. I mean, Joel had a little system where you, um, we used, used to get like a couple of cue jumps. Leon, God rest his soul, yeah, passed away. Yeah, rest in peace, Leon. Yeah, you absolutely. Mean, um, he used to give, give him a little cue jump after a while and said, "Oh, well, have you seen the tune on the radio?" <laughs> and that, so we, you know, and then mm-hmm. the, like the rest is kind of history. It just went from there, and then we got asked to do Top of the Pops. I thought, Top of the Pops, that mm. is insane. Yeah, that really broke through, not just the, the song, but I think it gave identity to the genre. Yeah, because you got to remember, there's no internet in them days. No. So a lot of people had no clue what we looked like. Mm. They just heard it on the radio and the sing- you know, when you went Top of the Pops was the first opportunity for people to say, oh, that's DJ Luck, that's MC Me. Because mm. before that, it was just a voice and Joel, there was no voice, he doesn't mm. speak. Mm. So they didn't have a clue what he looked like at all. So that gave me a little bit of thing. And now, mm. obviously, nowadays, there's... It's gone crazy. Yeah, you guys had a distinctive look, distinctive sound. Um, and big up, like, obviously, Joel, because, you know, he's come on podcasts. He was a seasoned, he was into his graph and everything back then. Yeah. You guys, um, and I don't think it was intentionally by any stretch, but you know what happens with genres and music. It's, it's almost like the, 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 the bad boys discover it, appropriate it into the street, then the street... Re- it's the same with drum and bass, yeah. same with jungle, same with hip-hop. It's like... It's a cycle. Some, yeah. But in those days, like, well, I mean, probably still to this day, like, um, but there's a, a lot bigger push nowadays. But in those days, it was like the streets decided. Yeah. If the streets turned it down, mm-hmm. it went no further. Yeah. Do, 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 do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, the, like the, the, you know, the, the sound, the song came from, mm-hmm. from came from road, came mm-hmm. from a pirate radio station. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then you put it out there, and then the first, if the pirate radio stations rejected it. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, mm. you know, it's, it's, it's mm. cease here, you know, close for the day. Mm. Sharp shop, mm. you mean, string down the set and just keep it moving, try something else. But luckily, they took, they took, that's how most garage yeah, took off. They Outside took the off, yeah. are so solid, you mean? Yeah. They made a song and the streets decided this is a tune. But I don't get, uh, I mean, big up steam, by the way, to you. Uh, and uh, in, in one of your encounters on top of the pops, you yeah, was yeah, there yeah, with, yeah, the, yeah. with the white and that <laughs> kind of bulletproof jacket. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So, up, taking yeah, it, yeah, taking yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, my phone was popping off yeah. that day. Like, What's my <laughs> man? Red him and they move with, <laughs> moving differently. <laughs> Red him and they move with some tongues. Yeah, 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 totally. And you're not that kind of character. You're like, no. you're, you're, you're straight MC, no messing, not really yeah, involved yeah, in that yeah, sort yeah, of business, like, right? You know, you have friends who are however it is, you mm. know what I'm saying? But me, myself, I'm just I'm just me, mm. you know what I mean? I'm just happy-go-lucky mm. as possible, mm. do you know what I mean? I don't really get upset about nothing unless it involves my kids, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, of course. Um, well, let's stick with the MC inside of things. Like, where did it all begin for you before all of this? Well, to begin with... What, you into? When I what was, was your vibe? When I was in school, mm. like, first year secondary school, aged 11, mm. um... We are English teacher, my English teacher, Miss Claire Campbell was her name. And I was lucky enough to meet her later on in life, like on a, on a TV show. They brought her out by surprise and skid an absolute crap out of me. But um, basically, wow. she she said, um, I used to like writing stories, like stories. I could write stories. I'd sit down there in English. I, I really loved the English lesson. Mm-hmm. Maths, not so much. Mm-hmm. English was my thing. So I just write stories out of my head. I mean, it's mad stories. She's she, like, she, she, crazy story. She, you're really creative, really creative. I said, so thank you. She's very supportive. Mm-hmm. And then for our first year Christmas party, our school was like fame. Remember the old fame? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to yeah. live forever. That's the one, yeah, yeah. yeah. Irene Carter. Irene Carter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, um, we, she said to us, there was some, me, CKP, mm-hmm. who's another big MC in the garage thing. He, we went to, we was in the same class at school, <laughs> basically. What? <laughs> yeah, we, we'd known each other since age 11. Wow. And then wow. from the from the dance hall world, there was Chucky Star and Dolla, and, and Dolla, Dolomite. They went to my school as well. Mad, yeah. what school was this? Elstone. Elstone. It's now called Queen's Park Community. It's just, it's just around the corner. You're from the manor? 
Yeah, I'm from the pub. I mean, listen, I'm, my, 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 my mum lives three minutes from here, bro. Stop it, yeah. No. Yeah. You must have got my address and be like, oh, this isn't a breeze. This is easy. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. My mum lives three minutes from here. Oh, I knew, yeah, I knew exactly where that was. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, basically, we used to go in the in 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 the in the boys' toilets at um, lunchtime, and someone had the little the little Walkman. <laughs> When you had a little bag connected to the speakers, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Some walk those in, and we used to just be in there, just chatting lyrics, just, just, just all madness. But it was, it was all, it was all ragga them days. Ragga, yeah, yeah, it was all ragga. Not necessarily hip hop or anything like that. No, it was all it was. It, we kept, it was a very reggae based school. Wow. Yeah. So we're doing all this, doing all that, doing all that, and then teach our teacher, our clear. She said, "You know what? For your first year party." which was always held in a sixth form common room. Mm -hmm. And it was like basically, you know, the ushers, it was ushered in by the sixth formers, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? The pre, yeah. pre you know, the, the prefect characters. Yeah, the prefects yeah. and the, the, the top, the head boy mm -hmm. and all that business. Mm -hmm. So she said to us, you can do your own party. We said, what? She said, yeah, what? Listen, she could, she had the whole lot, you know what I mean? You, you know, you, you could do the DJ in. The, so in those days, my favourite artist... That's a very liberal school. Very liberal. No, she, she was a very liberal teacher. Mm. Yeah, she was out of the box. Mm. She didn't... You know I mean, that's that's why we liked her that's so much, because she yeah. wasn't that straight-laced mm. teacher, just rules, rules, rules. She could see the potential in each kid mm. and take them for their own individual... Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Their own individual, individual capabilities mm. kind of thing. Mm. Very good, very adaptable. So she said, yeah, do you want to do this? We said, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, no problem. All excited now. <laughs> um, my favourite artist at the time was um, Tenosaur. Yeah, ticka, go ticka, tap, yeah, my golden go head. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. My all-time favourite artist was Tenosaur. I mean, like, when, when, when the date, because he, he, he got killed <laughs> in eight, I think 80, 87 or something. I cried, I ain't going to lie. Oh. I cried. He was found in the gutter in in New York. What? Yeah, D David David yeah, David Rodigan said it on on the on the on the radio, almost oh. in tears himself. And I just didn't. It broke down. It's, it's like I lost a family yeah, member. Of course. But those days, I wow. used to call myself um, Junior Tenor. Yeah, that's a sick name. That, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's how much of a fan I was. You know, wow. I, was I was Junior Tenor. And you'd have the T-shirts we used to write in those days. It's all printed. Mm, get them, mm, mm, it, it was you know, shit. You're straight, yeah. yeah. You get the old marker pen out, yeah. you know what I mean? You get a T-shirt that your mum's not going to kill you yeah. if, if, if you write on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then um, yeah, Junior Tenor written down. And we done our party. And me and CKP and Dulla were the mic men. What? Ironically. Yeah. And then we're doing our thing, blah, 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 blah. And then I used to do my little, everything was just reggae mm. based. I do my mm. little singy things, my mm. little chatting, thinking I'm, you know, mm. thinking I'm, I'm somebody. Mm. And um, at the end of it, Claire Campbell, my teacher, she came up to me and she said, Michael, if you put your mind to it and you stick on this path, this musical path, mm. one day you could make a living out of this. And I never forgot that. When, mm. Age 11, I mean, she told me that and it, it went in my head and then you just carry on through life, you know, girls come along and distract mm. everything. Yeah, you of mean? course. And, um, but I never, ever forgot that. And then wow. later on, spin forward about ooh, 20 odd years, we done a program with Davina McCall. Mm -hmm. It was like, um, it's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, like a this is your life type of thing. Wow. And we had to do a performance. So we, after we performed, and she came out, she, she was just interviewing us. And she said, um, oh, you know, like, you know, what's, you know, who's your inspirations? And I say to her, I would say to her, three people. It's um, my teacher, mm -hmm. Claire Campbell, um, Big Daddy Kane. He was my guy. I, I, got, I got to meet Big Daddy Kane about, about three years ago, four years ago at Jazz Cafe. Ooh. I was just staring at him. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. Idolist. Bruv, yeah. you have no <laughs> idea. You see? And the other one was Bubbler Ranks. <laughs> Bubbler Ranks, and people think, who's Bubbler Ranks? I know that name. Bubbler Ranks done the the little the little chatty bit, the little reggae chatty bit on Peter Andre's Mysterious Girl. Yeah. yeah. Baby Girl. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. What was it about him you liked? The, Interesting. This, he was in a sound, it was sound systems them mm -hmm. days. I'm from Northwest. Mm -hmm. You're from Northwest. Mm -hmm. um, Volcano was the sound system from Northwest based in Hilltop, Stonebridge. Yeah. yeah. Saxon, South London. 
Cox and stuff like, mm-hmm. yeah, the, the young Volcano lion, yeah, North. Java was around these sides. Really? Java was from was, was, <laughs> was around here, yeah, and um, Volcano, the the the, the might men was Bubba Ranks, UT General, and Jesse Dredd, and the selector was Stone Ed. <gasps> I remember them all. Yeah, wow. I got so many tapes, and Bubba Ranks was a lyrical. Genius. Don't get it twisted by the that little the baby girl. Oh, oh, oh. Don't get it to the yeah. it's just him being commercial for Peter Andre. Wow, this is Intel for yeah? days. He was a lyrical genius. Mm-hmm. And he made up this um this lyric about keeping a dance in the human body. And I was just mesmerized by this lyric. Like if you, if he's talking about Mr. Mount T Tongue was the MC, the selector was the, the esophagus. He was going whoa, in whoa, deep whoa, whoa, parts whoa. of the like, what a concept. Yeah, absolutely. It never left my mind. That's where later on in life, like um, I'm known for doing like I do the MC guest list, mm. I do the DJ guest list, you know, like big up mm. the creed coming doing it again, mm. hold tight the PSG because <laughs> yeah, basically linking. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was the concept from Bubbler Ranks. And wow. Bubbler Ranks done the human body. And you just moved it, you and shifted I just, it. I just shifted it and thought, okay, I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do the type of thing. So I just took little bits of everyone's lyric mm. and made a long lyric out of it. God, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, and that, so, so my inspirations really made, you know, made Daddy Kane me. as well, that kind of wordplay. He's a yeah. wordsmith. Wordsmith. You know, like that tune, How to Get a Record Deal. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I'm so good. He, he is a G, he, he is a beyond G. When I, I, I want I mean, like the thing is, when you meet people, like you hope, you pray and hope and pray that they're cool. That they're cool. And Big Daddy Kane was just cool. Mm. So it just kept the love. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I met Bubbler. Everybody, my inspirations, I met, mm. and they were all cool. Mm. And I'm so you know it's a, yeah, of so they, they will stay my heroes mm. forever. Because yeah. the last thing you want to do is meet someone in there right. Dick. <laughs> and you, you, you know the ones, and you figure, yeah. oh, what, bro? Oh, I've been following you for years, and you turned out to be an absolute twat. <laughs> oh, you just want to kill my whole childhood. Yeah, you turn let down. You know, whole let down, shoot my whole youth. You shot my youth, bro. Yeah. What kind of t- I should arrest your. Do you think people really hold it? They don't hold candles like they, they, Like you say, either they're nice or they're not. The majority of them, they're nice, but you, you don't want to be let down by your own. Judgment. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because the persona you have of them is their, like, their profession, what yeah. they do. Yeah. You don't really know them as a person, person. No, no. So when you meet them as a person, you're kind of fingers crossed, like, you know. Please be alright. You know, please, please don't. Right. Yeah. All, all, all I ask is, don't be arrogant. Yeah. That's all I, that, that, that's, yeah. the, that's, the, that's the main put off. Yeah. You mean, because when you started out in the, in the game, mm. you'd have been that little hungry kid mm. who's talking to you now. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? The little hungry kid who's coming up and idolizing and staring at you like, oh my God. You were God. that kid yeah. too. You were yeah. that kid once. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So if you now turn into some diva off, mm. you mean, no yeah. eye contact, please. It, 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 that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I need rose petals and, and you know, some crazy yeah. rider. I want, yeah, 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 you yeah, mean, yeah. I want four orange Skittles, yeah, yeah. 16 purple ones. Yellow M&Ms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That kind of, you're thinking, come on, bro. Were you? Yeah. Yeah. Affected. You know, really? Did your parents? Your parents? Mm. I know neither of your parents mm. raised you like that. Mm-mm. They didn't. You know what I mean they're probably looking at you thinking, "Oh my God, what's happened to them? You know what I'm saying? Money does that. When money comes into the game, that's what I'm saying. That's when money comes into the game, a lot of people just money and fame. Yeah, they suddenly excel to somewhere else and they change. Mm. I to this day move with the same man them from yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah same meet, friends, yeah, same everything. same friends. My, my, yeah. my, my day ones are still my day ones. Mm. You know I mean, you meet people along the way, but a lot of people you meet, like, they're more associates. Yeah, acquaintances. You mean? Acquaintances. Yeah. You mean? Yeah. You know, on, on, on a cool level, being yeah. professional, yeah. blah, blah, blah. I mean, I've met, I have people who, who are my day ones in the music game. You know, the soul solid mm. man them. Mm. Mm. You know, we, you know me, me and Harvey, he always says to me, we done a, a rave in, in Cardiff, 2000, 2001, and he says, bruv, you came along, I just met you for the first time, <laughs> and you just gave me the mic, bruv. He says, what, you like, mean? I said, Harvey, so sorry. He said, well, come, and it was our set. I said, come, come in, you do this thing, yeah? And me and him done it, he goes, I'll never forget, bruv. We just smashed up the place, too, because I'll that. never forget, because there was no, Eric, man just came in and just showed me love from day one. God, was, yeah. And to this day, Harvey's still, he's my brother. Nice. I'm saying Romeo, Lisa, yeah. they, they, they're, they're my people. Peoples. You mean from day one? Big up Lisa, by the way, Romeo. Yeah. And, and Harvey, obviously, I, I did, I beatboxed the intro to Romeo, little known fact that I, did, I beatboxed the intro of Romeo's album. There you go. Yeah. So I, 
I know that I know the lineage of these people, and I remember on first meeting them, I was like, "Yo, you guys are so grounded." Grounded. They're the nicest people. Yeah, grounded. That's 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 all. That's all I ask. You just 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 remain the same. Mm. No matter what riches come to you, I could be a multi multi billionaire. I'm mm. still the same guy mm. because it takes away all the riches you could have in the world and things you could have materialistically. Mm. You know, they don't they don't like make nothing. You know what I mean they don't they don't take a dent out of where you are mm. as a person, mm. in my opinion. Yeah, you know I mean? That's what I try to tell my kids. I said no matter yeah. what goes in life, stay you. Uh, do you yeah, mean? Real talk. You know? And, the, yeah. and you know what I mean? My kids, they're, they're doing all right. You know I mean, they did. Yeah. How old are your kids? How are they? The, yeah, they're good. I've got a 12 year old, a, 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 my 19 year old daughter right now is in Australia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, just gone out there. She said, Dad, I want to go traveling. I thought, you know, I've been to Australia twice, but we were there for, we done three cities in six days. Then left, then left. Mm -hmm. you mean, I mean, I'm driving past, you know, driving past places I've seen on Sky Sports, yeah. like, like the tennis places. You know, <laughs> I mean, I figure, oh my god, this is a, oh, this Albert Park with the F1, <laughs> ring, keep it moving. You know I mean, so she said, "Dad, we're gonna go." To her and two of her friends, off they went. They they got their six month year visa. Travel. Go traveling, mate. Uh, you yeah, go. that's that's right. Do what you can. I wish I was 19 mm. and able to go to Australia mm. and travel and and see some mm. some, some of the world. I mean, we've gone through some sticky times mm. over the last three, the, the last mm. four years. You don't know when they're going to say you can't go anywhere. Lock off. Yeah. So the truth. When the you, truth. you know what I'm saying. So when yeah. you got the chance, go. Their perception of um, music. I mean, never mind the fact that you know, Dad's MC neat standard. That's that in itself is you know incomprehensible. It's like, because that your dad, you know, where does that position like a neat in their record collection is a whole different kind of thought process, isn't it? But they must have a different concept to the value of music because that's been their financial upbringing yeah i suppose yeah yeah i mean what a I, crazy concept i mean luckily i'm seen as i'm still a cool dad mm. you know <laughs> you know the days my kids all say, i ask yeah, for the day i get a tap on the shoulder cool. the day you get a tap on the shoulder say dad you know what boy <laughs> you know what i mean like, i heard that last song and i think that lady this time she just hang up that mic <laughs> i'm hanging up immediately yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah immediately i'm waiting for the or they, or they say i'm, I'm out of the game you know yeah mean? but as it stands dad yeah, he's still cool. They send me, they'll be, they send me video. I mean, we done Gladstonebury last year. My daughter was at the front. Stop. Yeah. And like, she's there, like, 40,000 people at this stage thing. And That's look, mad. It's crazy. And like, she's there jumping all her friends, you know, jumping yeah. around and blah, blah, blah. And I'm still dad. So I said, mm. yeah, pick up my daughter, May May, over there. I said, May May, I know all the security in here. <laughs> are, you, are you put her on blast? Yeah. All, the all, the, all the security in it. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. And they are all they all have a picture of you. And yeah. <laughs> they know yeah. who you are. Their eyes. <laughs> are my eyes. My eyes are their eyes. Yeah. She was laughing her head off. She's cool like that. You know I mean? But it's that it's that type of thing. I mean, I took my son just yesterday yesterday. We mm. there was we done a little a little cool kids fest thing. Oh, um, I love them things. They're wicked. Yeah, with all the kids jumping around. Yeah. And like, um, Auntie Joshua, um, he, he's charity and um, done one. So Auntie Joshua came. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I took my my eldest son, Jaden, he's um, 20, he's six foot seven. Oh, yeah, he's been loving that. Wow. Yeah, I've got some tall six foot seven son. Wow. I mean, so like, took him to the thing. He said, him and one of his mates. And he was like, Dad, you, 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 yeah, of course you can come. So they come along. I said to Auntie Joshua, um, to, cause one of these security is my old school friend. Mm -hmm. I mean, he came and said, I said, bruv, I'm 18 if I just write your ass in. I said, okay. I goes, yeah, I'm, my son wants to take a picture of, um, with AJ. He goes, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, go, go, go and get him. So they're thinking I'm going to come out with a mm -hmm. some little kid. I mean, <laughs> a couple of them go, this is my son. <laughs> AJ went, <laughs> Yeah, we see a big man. <laughs> yeah. He was an inch taller than AJ. AJ is six six. My son's six seven. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he looked at me and went, "Your son, yeah." I said, "Yeah, yeah, it's my boy, Jay." My boy. Went, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We see a big man. <laughs> my son was gassed. Oh, yeah, he, don't do like that. Yeah, wow. Yeah. He got to meet um, all the all, now the internet. YouTube's massive. He got to meet KSI because we done mm. something. We played for the what are they called misfits. Um, the Sidemen. Sidemen. Yeah, the Sidemen, yeah, yeah. they, they, had, they had something at, at, at um, one of them, um, um, the, um, what do you call it? 
the Soho houses. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, one eighty down the strand. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they got one eighty. Yeah, got Patrick and them. Yeah. yeah. So um, <clears throat> they I'm coming soon. I ain't been here for a while. But I'm coming. Oh, oh, you mean I'm, serious? You know, serious space, man. No, yeah, it's it's lovely. But yeah. if I'm honest, the 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 the, the West London one. Is the nicest. It's mm. chilled. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. And the Shoreditch one with the swimming pool yeah, on the top. Yeah, 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 that. Come on. yeah. So we go there. Took my son again. Met K- K- KSI. All of the side men. You mean Jeremy? Blah, 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 blah. My son was just like. <laughs> his, his mate was like, bro, you know what? You got to put some respect on your dad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> your, your, dad, your dad knows people. Yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah. Oh, my day. This That's is amazing. Like, when he came up, my son looked at me, he goes, dad, that was like the best day of my life. Oh. You know, he was only like, I think he was 18 at the time. That's amazing. So he's like, oh, that was unbelievable. Dad. We got to meet all the people we just see. You know, I'm like, they're, they're hugging you. Wow. They're coming over and just giving you a that hug. That is amazing, like, isn't it? How do, how, do you, how do you come back from that once you've you've hit peak as a parent? Like, that's a, there's, there's a stark difference between life and that stardom. It, it's, it's, I mean, for me personally, and Joel too, we get up and we try to make it to the end of tomorrow mm. or the end of the day. The, 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 like today, as we hear me and you mm, sit mm, here right mm, now, mm. my plan is to make it to the end of this day. Mm. Tomorrow, we repeat. Is that age and wisdom? Is that age and wisdom? It, 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 when you're young, mm. young, young, mm. you've got that invincibility mm. factor in it. We've all had it. Yeah, you yeah. know, when you're a kid, you think, yeah. I, can't, I can't break a bone, yeah. I can't die, I can't, yeah. nothing could go wrong with me. You mean, I'm mm. just, you know, I'm going to live to be my mm. nan's age. Yeah. You mean, yeah. you know? Until you see your friends pass. Till you see... You get to a certain age, you think, all right, you know I mean? like even through illness. Like one, mm. of my, one of my friends, Gummy, he he passed away. We he must have been like 13, yeah. 40. Oh, do you god, mean, do you mean? And then you see man start just dropping, dropping. You think, oh my days, what was what, what did it was he in a fight? No, he was just ill. Mm. Think, god, what, How what? Did that? then you think, yeah. what so what? You know, the young, what we can get ill too, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, we can get old people's diseases. Are you sure? You, that's even more prevalent now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's everywhere now. But I mean, it, in, in those days, it was a real shocker. I mm. mean, you, you kind of wake up and think, right, okay, let's try and make something out of life because tomorrow is not promised. Mm. You know I mean, my mum my, my and dad, you know, West Indian parents, you know I mean, they're telling me from young. And my mum always used to say to me, all the friends that you have at school, because you're at school, all your people, and you're mm. the gang, you, you know, you're mm. rolling 35 mm. deep. You know what I mean? These are my people. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. My mum would say you would struggle to know six of them when you leave school. Oh. I said, what are you talking about? You're thinking that? Since I left school, I've struggled <laughs> <laughs> to even see uh, yeah, yeah, six yeah. of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It is so true. Everything mm-hmm. parents say at the time, you think, ah, oh, shut up. What do mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. It all happens. And then as you get older, you start turning into your parents. <laughs> I'm dropping bars what my parents say to me on my kids, thinking, what am I doing? Looking my... into the mirror like, oh my God, my dad. I'm telling <laughs> you, <to my> dad. <laughs> oh, what? Really? <laughs> but, that, you know, but that's the cycle. Mm. And certainly my kids here, mm. and I think when they get older and they have their kids, mm. they'll start saying things and think, oh, Jesus, Lord, yeah, dad yeah. used to say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mum used to say Isn't that's... that amazing? But it's the kids who don't take any notice of what mum used to say, dad used to say, nan, mm. whoever raised them, mm. you mean? Because have to be a biological parent, no, no, you know no. what I mean? Whoever raised you, yeah. you mean? The ones who take no notice, they tend to really go off the rails. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like a no guidance thing. Mm. It's it's almost not their fault because they had no yeah. no pathway leading them. Yeah, yeah. So they just no went fault straight, lines to anything. You know, you know what I mean? They just, you know what I mean? On the Monopoly board, they just jumped and went straight to the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah do you yeah. mean? And, and, and if you get hooked in by a bad from young, those are your people, mm. and that's how you roll. Yeah, and that cycle, that that bubble, yeah. there's no breaking it. It's, it's, and then, even to try and leave mm. that cycle, it's harder. It's easier to leave family members. Yeah, because you're institutionalised in yourself with the company yeah. you've kept. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Yeah, and it, it, what you know, what's the biggest saying? You're known by the company you keep. Yeah, five people, something like that, or three people, something like that. You right? know what I'm saying? So that's mm. why my people now, my day ones then, mm. were sensible then. They had silly moments, but. Kids moments. Mm. We all at the, end, at the end of the day, I'm not saying be the perfect kid. We all got to be children mm. at some stage. Mm. Kids do wrong mm. at some stage. We're By kids. Default. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how you learn as well. That's how you learn. You know what I mean? You're doing wrong. But you just keep going on and blah blah blah. It's the ones who survive it. You know I mean you come out of, you know, suddenly you wake up one day and you think, wow, 
I'm in my 40s or something. Mm. You made it. Mm. You done all right. You know, old people never take the pee out of old people. Mm. When nah. you see old, old people, uh -uh. because they all done something perfectly mm. to make it mm -hmm. to be 90. Real talk. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? And you only realise that when you discover your own mortality. Do you understand? Or, or the mortality of the people around you. That's right. You mm. think all the madness in the world, they've been through world wars and mm. blah, blah, blah. World wars, you, you understand? Yeah. yeah. And they're here still. Okay, yeah, respect mum. I yeah. said, look at mum. I said, mum, you know, yeah. yeah. And I mean, after the last three years, I ain't going to lie, I looked at my mum and said, mum, I'm kind of jealous of you being like 80 and, and, <laughs> and stuff because <laughs> you've had 70 odd years of relatively normal life mm -hmm. before it switched. Mm -hmm. Kids born now. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's right. I ain't going to lie, I feel a little bit sorry I for do them feel so because they don't have any reality they check have outside no, of tech. There's no aspect of... Yeah. Reality. They yeah. don't know everything is, is they they're born AI. They're yeah. AI kids. Yeah. Do you know I mean? Can you imagine trying to connect with them? Can you imagine us trying to connect with them people in ten years from now? It's just gonna be impossible. It's crazy. It's I always I worlds always, apart. I always say that like even with social media, I say to myself, like, you know, I got my few whatever thousand followers. But I think to myself, in those days, if we were out in them days or social media was around in them days, mm. I'd be sitting on one point this, two point that million followers. <laughs> what the hell do you say? To, I don't know what to say to eight man. <laughs> what, what do you say to 1.5 million people? <laughs> what do you say? I feel so when I look on people. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. You know, there's always going to be one person. I mean, a million plus, you know, they're not going to be happy. It can't be. Drake and Justin B want to be me think, man's got what? Yeah. 200 yeah. and what million? Yeah. What do you say? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. They, 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 they're, they're followers. They don't support. That's the thing. They're just there to for the popcorn, and they'll just throw some insult over anything. Don't yeah, they? that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because like the same people, the abuse. Yeah. They get it millionfold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Well, you might get you, you might get the ones who comment here and there. They get it mad. Yeah. And these are from people who just sit down there, and these people don't even follow them. Just got something funny to say, all they, that and nothing, yeah, they, no they, value. They think, I'm behind the keyboard. You can't see anything. Let me, yeah. let me just put a bit of tape over the yeah, over, yeah. The, over the, um, yeah, the camera, yeah, just yeah, in yeah, case. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you mean? And then they start writing all kind of madness. Never met you before in their life, and they just abuse it. Yeah. Do you mean? Yeah, absolutely. And it's mad to think that that, that this is the conditions and environments that. But that's normal. Yes, yeah, normalized. It's seen as it's seen as normal. Yeah. I think, oh blimey, boy. I'm kind of glad that, that yeah. we went out. You mean we sold records, we sold vinyl. Yeah. Man packed up the van, yeah. drove to you mean drop yeah. off. You mean drop off at this Laboring. one. Yeah, yeah, drop off at that one. Drop off. Ah, oh, bruv, they're ringing up. Ah, oh, bruv, yeah. we need we now we need five hundred more. Ah, oh, bruv, okay. Oh, drive yeah, back yeah, again. Yeah. Do you mean even when the CDs came out? Okay, it was a physical CD. Yeah. Do you mean you could see it was yeah. changing? When the CDs for what's this little thing I put on with a laser? What kind of what's this thing mm. like, they play? Do you remember they have the flip side as well? We could have the DVD DVD order. That's CD, right. right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah that really popped. Now mm. <laughs> you're gonna get to see you got the CD. You what? The, <laughs> what? The CD. What's the CD, bro? <laughs> What? No, you should have. No, nah, man, that's uh, dead, bro. You know <laughs> nah. And they just pull out their little their little their little gongle thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's got yeah. I got my entire music history yeah. on this too. USB plug gun. They are the brother, the DJ scene is mad like that nowadays. It's crazy. Man yeah. just plug in boop. Yeah. Boop. I mean it took luck forever. Years of broken back syndrome. Yeah. Because yeah, he yeah. was not giving up the case. The bags. The metal box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's hard though, because I understand it. I, I get it. Because that's a it's not a, it's not it's a principle, isn't it? It's a, the principle of it. It was old school. It was it was it was almost stubbornness. It was mm. principle versus stubbornness. Whereby you know I'm old school. I came from this thing. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. After a while, I mean, even we're here on a podcast right now. Mm. You have to evolve, innit? it? Yeah, it'll be extinct. That's what I'm saying. Mm. You, it's, yeah, like Wiley said. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You you got to evolve. You got to move with the times. Mm. Eventually, grasp it to the best of your abilities and think, okay, what well, what good can I do with this? Yeah. And here we are. Yeah. No. Repurposing ourselves. Yeah. Just like the CD did to the vinyl. Uh, yeah, but going back on what you were saying there, yeah, I, 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 I can't quite work out how we're going to be able to coexist with a, a, a generation that probably aren't even here yet, that are so, you know, their whole behaviour is tech. Yeah. That's going to be, I mean, like, we have a reasonably... Handsome age, but when when we're hitting our sixties, yeah, we're seeing that. 
Yeah. How are we ever going to... These are also going to be the young people that are going to look after our benefits with, um, with, the, with governments and funding and allowances and pensions and things like that. Yeah. And we'll be in the hands of that. <laughs> that's, that's kind of a scary prospect, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now you think now you put it like that. <laughs> Stop the world, mate. I'm going to get off. <laughs> ring the bell. Ding, ding. On the bus. This is the kids who used to ring the bell on the bus. They think, you used to do what? Yeah, yeah. You were ringing the bell, yeah. The string was on the bus. You used to pull it, innit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, what kind of? Well, you don't get an app for that? <laughs> you know what, I mean? what kind of Asian times was you not living in? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's where it's going, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the back of the bus was even there. The yeah. piece you could just jump on and off. What? Yeah. Dangerous though. Yeah. <laughs> they had no wings. They had no wings. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we don't, uh, th- what? Wheels? <laughs> craziness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, we, we are in. But the, the, the only good thing is, we're saving us slightly. Mm. Because we've kind of come through where technology started, if we were there at the start of the internet, the start, mm. you know, we, we, all had, we all had the first brick phone. Mm, 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 you mm, mean, but we didn't make a call because mm, it was, it was, it, it, it was 6 99 Yeah, it was. <laughs> blatant, blatant. And never mind pages, 49p for a little text or whatever. It was crazy times. <laughs> they don't know the struggle. Yeah, yeah, be for the pager, you've got a pager. Yeah, ring me. No, nah, bro, you're yeah, going to exactly. ring me, you know, bro. You're going to tell you, he's trying it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. someone, someone's losing 4 dollars in a minute here, and it ain't me. Yeah. So you're going to have to ring me. You run to a pay phone. <laughs> but it's the, it's the way that there's only a certain amount of text, like, phone not work, call now. Yeah. <laughs> so things like that. And you're just like, what the fuck? What? That just... means he don't want to spend no money. <laughs> yeah, t- we know that instantly. You know what I mean? I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you 20 pence worth. Uh, Find the nearest yeah, yeah, telephone yeah, booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah step, step inside the, uh, old, the old red ones, but uh, stack. A piece, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold your breath from going here and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? They're always they were always damaged as well, just like terrible chewing gum problems in there and Oh man, it was terrible. They, they, they were oh yeah, 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 everything. Yeah, everything them old red yeah. filler boxes. The struggle were, was real. Wow. It was yeah. just, they were they, they were basically the first public toilets. Blatantly. To be honest. Blatantly, yeah. Do you mean because it, it, it made, made think, boy, yeah. oh, I need to go. Yeah, yeah. Telephone box. Or or, or or trap is the first trap at least you know people <laughs> shot it and selling in the yeah, face yeah as well. that's right you're saying yeah 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 me, me got a telephone box in the corner of it. <laughs> that probably still happens actually to be fair yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean but now now mm. now you see the man he's looking around and sees the big brothers over there yeah, yeah, big brothers yeah, yeah, over there yeah, yeah, big yeah. brothers over there yeah. <laughs> you know what let's go park here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's go park let's yeah. walk in the middle of the park and it's up. funny because we you know we're talking about future and past and and I think for but particularly you guys and you know the songs that you've um, am- amassed over a really inc- small incubated period of time it's lasted you such a long i mean i have no doubt that people will be playing your music in 30 years from now what is how do you this is the biggest question i think everyone has to it wants to know the answer to is how do you create that longevity how do you do it you don't create it they do everything controlled by music from back then, Vera Lynn days, mm. to now, is the people decide. That's how it works in music. Mm. We, like, anything you make musically, anything you create, you know, mm. creatively, film, th- anything you do, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? In, 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 in like, this, this, this world mm. of what we call entertainment, mm. hospitality, mm. blah, blah, blah. The crowd, the people always decide. Downloads nowadays. Mm. Who's downloading? We could, in the old in the old days we were out there like you know physically giving out records and blah 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 blah. Now people are anywhere they want to be in the world mm. on a desert island with their phone, looking at you know Spotify yeah. or blah 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 blah, yeah. and choosing their playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The jukebox in the sky. Yeah, yeah. You do everything, everything, every, you, 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 everything is they decide. They look at it and think, okay, yeah, today, you know, today I want to listen. Yeah, let me try a little luck like, and neat in there. Boom, boom, there boom. Yeah, some sweet mm. female attitude. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, some soul, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know. You know, you know, you know what? Yeah. They choose. Mm. They always have done. Mm. I mean, now it's just easier. In the day, they had to physically walk to the to the to the shop and buy the record, mm. or you know, when the CDs came out, go to H and V and blah blah blah, whatever. Our price on them one there mm. and buy the CD. The physical. Now they don't have to go anywhere. They can mm. do it on their phone, but they are still the judges. Of your fate, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to me, musically, yeah. they're, the, they're the judges of your career. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you say, "Oh, you don't manage to go," we haven't, we haven't, 
we're just going around, you know, getting our bookings and doing our our thing. Yeah. But the people decide that they want to book us. Yeah. And that's something. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. If you go somewhere and, and, and people aren't turning up, then they'll your bookings will start to go. Mm. Because as far as they're concerned, the people decided. Yeah. That's enough. That's enough for this ride for now. Yeah, that's enough. We don't listen. But there's cycles of life within music as well. There's re rehashing of uh, de- uh, very fashionable yeah. um, moments yeah. where you re light a certain genre as yeah. well. Yeah, fashion and music. Mm. It, 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 fashion and music is on a merry-go-round. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes mm. it goes really slow. Mm. Other times it's just singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it always comes around, comes around, comes around. You know, yeah. I mean, like, everyone, you know, that shuffle. The shuffle what the kids are doing. Yeah, Shuff- yeah, yeah. yeah. Mama's shuffling. Mama's it's an age on. It's, yeah? you know, it's just Mama's another... Mama's yeah. that, 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 Where you going? Yeah. The, kids, the kids look at you like... Right, you don't know what, and then you, you show them an old VHS video. You, you go explain what the VHS video yeah, is first yeah, of all, and what... find a player. Yeah, well, it's not like crackling on the screen, yeah. man. You gotta find a player because yeah. they're they hard to come by now. The actual video player. Yeah. yeah, and you show them. Oh my days, you know what's it? Okay, mm-hmm. man, man, look at that shuffling. Yeah, that's right. That yeah. shuffling back in the day. Don't you call it shuffling now? We just we just dancing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Champion tracksuits on. And... <laughs> yeah. You saying it's true though, isn't it? It's like the fashion, the dance, the um, associated drug, the type of technical equipment that's used to make the production. It all comes together in this really special zeitgeist moment that makes a genre, doesn't it? That's right. Crazy. Yeah, that's right. And and the good genres stick. Yeah. They get massive. And bigger and bigger mm. and bigger. You have certain genres where you get like, I mean, even UK garage. You tell UK garage is mad. UK garage is nowhere near drum and bass. Mm. Drum mm. and bass, which I mean, I'm a junglist. I came a <laughs> jungle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was yeah. a jungle MC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, like jungle evolved into drum and bass, and then it's worldwide. Mm. It's gone. All, I mean, yeah, there are people in America who like might like garage, but not like like drum and bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Global. It's kind of global. Like. It's yeah. It's it's how they market it. They, props to them. To the wire, yeah. They yeah? they they got it patented. They got it on lock. Mm. They, they 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 you mean they they went in hard and fought about the whole thing. Yeah. You mean the thing is there was a lot more at the time, I in my opinion, there was a lot more together. Even like say American hip hop, UK, you know, US hip hop, yeah. compared to UK hip hop. Yeah. The Americans were just collabing the hell out. Yeah, of yeah. Them. When UK hip hop didn't really do that. No. Yeah. It didn't. You mean this London posse, yeah. skinny man. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You and mean they Black Twang? Yeah, Black Twang, and he, they, they're separate lanes to, like you say, a task force or. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, the, do, you, yeah. You, you, whereby the, the Americans would just collab, collab. This, 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 this. Yeah. Like, you come from that city, there's, there's, there's American artists, there's 52 states in America, there's artists who are multi-millionaires, they've never left their state. No, that's they've right. They've never left the country. Yeah. Because they're making <laughs> mad pee yeah. out of their one yeah. borough. In their own yeah. ends. Yeah. yeah. They're there murdering it. Yeah. And then if, if they need to collab, they just collab. Now we didn't. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah, I, I collab with my guy from there. Yeah. Boom, boom. We put a thing, sling that out, it goes national. Because their states are the same size as the whole of the UK. That's what I'm saying. They've yeah. got states what are the size of our entire... Yeah. You mean the, the, the UK will fit a corner piece. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah. kind of thing. It's mad. It is mad, isn't it? But we, we didn't really we didn't really go down that route. Yeah, the UK was very um, you know, us. Do mm. do do what we kinda of do for you know what I mean, do what we mm. can do for us and then see where it takes us. It's funny, man, because if we were to have this podcast five years ago, arguably, we would have a very different conversation about the celebration of garage. A lot of it would have been what happened? But you know, in the last five years Yeah. It's way back. It's straight back into yeah, the position it was. It's yeah. just incredible. It's come. Yeah. It's what come, we're talking about here is like a long-standing genre. Yeah. It's 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 just come. It's come, but I mean, in the whole time, people say to me like, "Oh, like oh, I ain't seen you in years. Whatever. You 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 come out retirement. No, we ain't. We ain't gone, gone nowhere. We ain't, yeah. gone, we ain't gone nowhere. <laughs> I mean, we just been. You know, we turn up anywhere. You you go to little places, big places. I prefer the intimate ones. I prefer mm. the little the little three fifty four hundred oh, people. Ah, it's the best. Close, low ceiling. Yeah. Sweat boxes. You mean? Yeah, yeah, those ones, yeah. Yeah, where they 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 listen to every lyric. Mm. Everything. They're watching the DJ like this. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. The saying? human teleprompters yeah. talking right back at your lyrics. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. Whereby you get the massive festival, yes, there's ten thousand people, but the nearest person mm-hmm. is ten meters away behind them barriers. Mm. Do, do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. a row of security standing in front of them with the high vis jackets and blah 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 blah. 
there's less of connection. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get it twisted. Festivals pop off, they, they pop, but the actual artist himself, I think most artists would tell you that little intimate where you're here and the DJ's thing's there and the nearest person to you is where you are. Mm. And they're just leaning over. You get the, sick. Yeah, you get the row of nerds. Mm, yeah, 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 totally. The, the, the yeah? geeks, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, god, is that the SM four four two two seven mic? I don't know, bro. It works. Is that the Pioneer X Y Z seven X X four? The the CDJ. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, yeah. They yeah know I know. Every bar, they know. everything. Yeah. They, they know when you breathe in the lyrics, yeah. it's crazy. They know when the mix is coming in. They know, they know exactly everything. what's going on. But it's, it's, I reckon EZ must get that hell of a lot. Oh, yeah. I mean, for me, EZ is still, I say, number one on the podium, and the winner is EZ. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. K- kinged it. He, Absolutely kinged it. He's a guy. Yeah. He is. I mean, if, if, if any DJ out there doing their thing saying, nah, nah, EZ's no good. Nah, nah, he's the one. Him and Carl Cox, in my opinion, game over. That's yeah, it. Yeah, there's, you mean, you, there's no you, one else that hits that pedigree doing like a whole day's mi- mix. Yeah, you may not, you may not like them as mm. people. I mean, he said, I, I, you mm. know, he said I know him as a person. He mm. says fine. Yeah. <laughs> when I see him, we see him, bro. But mm-hmm. that's, that's just how it is. Mm. But you may not like the actual. But you've got to put respect on their what, on their on, they on their thing. What they do. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll add another one as well, Andy C for good measure, because his yeah, drum Andy basically C. can't mess with him neither. Dan. Those three, I think them three. Dan. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my favourite MC, like, of all... To, oh, no, my other, um, my other inspiration was GQ. Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah And yeah, I've yeah. seen GQ enough times, and I tell him, he's like, bro, I'm so, bro, I'm, I, I'm so humble. I say, bro... He, he needs, needs flowers to, all day. G- yeah, GQ, GQ is man. the bad man. Yeah, big time. Nobody could, I'm mean, at Paradise every weekend. Mm-hmm. Man used to be on his own on a Saturday from 10 till 10, 12 hours. Every DJ coming through, Randall, Kenny, Ken. Oh, in a Paradise? At, at Paradise Club. Are you kidding yeah? me? And on his own, and he would hold a dance on his own. Not like there's three, four MCs, him, one. And on the Friday was Fearless. Fearless MC Fearless. Bad man as well. Yeah. Bad man. More flowers out there. Yeah. More flowers for Fearless, yeah. yeah absolute. Mm. And it, killing it. And I think, wow, compare that now to, you look at the thing you see, imagine mm. you see a lineup now, this DJ, that DJ, that blah, 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 mm. and one MC. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they want the whole roster. You, mean, you, you know what perpetuated that, I think, was the university camp freshers, you know, because yeah, all of a sudden yeah. they got sponsors, drink sponsors, and you run off a of fucking, you know, name after name after name after yeah. name because they could. Yeah. And then that set precedence. It was all... pile as many on as possible. Yeah. Yeah. And but I mean, at the end of the day, that's good because it opened the doors and it let, it, it let other talent, you know, come true. For but sure. I, I grew up in an era whereby. You know, I was just in awe, amazed. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and, and I said to GQ, I said, you know, one of the reasons I started this thing, because I came to Paradise on New Year's Eve, and I think it was 1995. Wow. And I'm standing outside. And we got there nice and early. <clears throat> I mean, 12 o'clock is New Year's, isn't it? Mm. You want to be inside. Mm. We got there about two, quarter past 10. Mm. That's a good t- yeah, that's yeah. Like two hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could see the door for the queue. Rammed. But this queue weren't moving, man. <laughs> and then I said to G, I said, I said, G, you came along with about six, seven of your boys. Just walked to the front. The security man, Ian, who's my friend now. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. It's just you meet everyone now, you, you know. And I, he's a head doorman at, at different places. And he just pulled the barrier back. I mean, give a spud or man hug. And you lot just walked in. And I looked at them. And I said to I said to my friends, I said, you know, I'm going. They said, what do you mean you're going? I said, listen, look, look, what time is it now? It's like 10 to 12. Mm-hmm. We've moved exactly 4.7 <laughs> inches <laughs> from where we was when we were there at quarter past 10. This, this thing, what we do? I left and I went to um, Grayson Road. Mm-hmm. Um, the old pig and whistle would go downstairs. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. yeah. Went there. Had a lovely time. I missed New Year's completely because I was travelling there. So the time I got there is like, you know, half past 12. I missed everything, but I didn't care. Mm-hmm. I said, the next time I go to like an event like this, I want to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, I want to be yeah. on that. I didn't, even, I didn't even want no pay, mm-hmm. no nothing. Yeah. I just want to be able to walk to the front 
mm. with my friends. And do what they just did. And do what he just did. Yeah. Yeah. Pull back the team, what are you saying, bro? And come on in. Mm. You mean? And I told you, I, 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 I tell G the story. I see him all, he does all the orchestra things. I see him all over the place now. <laughs> you mean? He's like, right, bro, here we go. That's, that's just humbling, you know? I said, bro, no, you. And you, he turned, he's a nice guy. Mm. It, we kept, he, he kept he kept up with the Big Daddy Kane, he yeah. kept up with the bubbler ranks, he kept up with, you know, with my English teacher. Mm. Just nice. Yeah. And yeah. good people. I mean, I think good people, you'll stay in the game long. Mm. That's why that's why you've been in this thing 33, 34, yeah, 35 yeah, yeah, yeah. years. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because if you was a, yeah. just a arrogant prick. And just staying on it as well with a level. You know what I'm saying? You'd yeah, have been dropped off. Properly. You'd have been yeah. dropped off. Yeah. I mean, he weren't about he weren't about five hundred lyrics in a thing. Mm. He dropped Certain lyrics at the time, and Jesus, I might not roll a call. You know what I'm saying? You know, and a roll of beats. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, come yeah. again, Kenny, again, please, please, please. please. <laughs> yeah, they made records. That, there was a, a few when they started sampling MCs. That was one of the first tunes they sampled. That, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> now Kenny, again, roll of beats, and then iconic, iconic. Absolutely fucking iconic. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that is as iconic as me standing doing the, the town I need to. That is iconic, but it's first day iconic. Yeah, that's and right. I looked at that and think, wow, a man's still here now. I saw him at Hammersmith, Fabian Groove Riders, um, House um, Jungle Orchestra. Whoa. The Ignition Orchestra. Yes, yeah, right. And I thought, what that was a show and a half. Wow. And then Rodigan played there. A Rodigan, Rodigan played his little bit of luck dub. He is the only man on the planet who has a fully customized little bit of luck. Wow. Only man. Because because Ronigan for me, I grew up on Ronigan mm. from from I was yeah. I can't remember yeah. my age. He used to David Ronigan on Saturday on Capital. <laughs> I mean way before the case or radio one, he was on used to be on Capital. OG. You know what I'm saying? OG. You know what I'm saying? And that voice, I thought, what did the voice iconic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, iconic, yeah. When as soon as you hear it, it's just the the, the, the the tumble and tone of his the voice. Tone of you just know. And, and then there's know nobody exactly I know on the planet with knowledge of reggae music like him. It's like it's scary. Yeah. yeah. It's scary He's in the words. Walking Wikipedia. Right yeah, now. yeah. You think, what the anything you mention and it'll tell you the year of all the studio was made. Yeah, it's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> the shoe size yeah. of the engineer. Yeah. <laughs> what the well, they had dinner, dinner break. <laughs> <laughs> think, wow. So yeah. when, when 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 we done we done that rebel that rebel sound clash. They came oh. to us and will you do a dub? And it'd be like we need thirty seconds because anything you know it's in and out. Back. I mean so. It was it was again it was boys it was boy better know and then there's some all these other sounds at Earl's Court. Yeah, I remember that. They came out. You mean <laughs> crazy? Know, what's his name? The MC. Oh, which MC was it? MC Rebel Sounds MC. I got. Uh, uh, and was it um f uh, fearless? No, 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 no. It wasn't fearless. No, um, um, no. It begins with. The, I'm sure it begins with the F. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, f f f f uh, it's gonna, yeah, it's, I know, it's killing you, me. You don't talk, yeah? Rage. Rage, rage, man like rage. Rage, 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 bad man. Got it, got it, got yeah? it. It's a rage, um, and like them, you know, like boys, boy, boy, boy better know, just done their thing, but what no mm -hmm. And he came out, he goes, yeah, I need to let you lot know, yeah? That, yeah, you done your thing, but blah, 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 but you see what we're gonna play now? This music here is all of you lot's parents. Yeah. He just said, on shut off. Oh my dick, my, my phone. I had to put, I had to put it in the cupboard. Really? Yeah. Was it popping off? My phone was blowing up. The whole <laughs> and he just saw videos of people online. Like, oh my god, the night. Because they like two hundred sixty thousand on the live when they were. It, yeah, it, it was, was really crazy. popping I mean, off. I remember watching it myself. And it was just worldwide. Like, crazy. You know I mean it's crazy? And then we got the opportunity to do the same clash. It's mad. No. You know what I mean? you know, we done the same clash, and all the, the 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 garage fraternity came together, and we done our thing, and that was like a buzz. I mean, that, yeah. that was one of the greatest days. We were like. I mean, like Mixpack won it, but then we found out after that Mixpack was sponsored by the people who do. Okay. Because because when, when the crowd meant to decide, they had a noise on it. Oh, mm. they wasn't the loudest. But the noise on it went up really high. We're thinking, how does that work? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. They can really yeah, say. Yeah. And then after you find out, yeah, the mix pack is actually there. It's their, it's their sound. Shit. Think, okay, okay, okay. But when we came out, we done. We had faith in our UKG. Mm -hmm. But we done. It was us against 
grime. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Stormzy, Jeez, yeah. Kano, the, every, yeah. the big boys yeah. came out. There are people that, yeah, yeah. Wiley and everything, there are people that, and then they come out and they're doing their thing, you know, and then we just stuck to our UK jet. We just made dub plates of everything. God, I love that. Madman. Get it. Every single original UKG tune, yeah. we made dub plates, cussing everybody. They made it. It was brilliant. Brutal. Know? And the first round, we said, blah, blah, blah. afterwards, I thought, you know, we should just, because we went around, they went around, blah, 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 blah. And in the end, they gave it to Mix Pack, because the, yeah. the crowd made the loudest noise, apparently. Ooh. But we are around when we done the UKG thing versus Raw Grime versus um, Taylor, um, Taylor Gang and Wiz Khalifa. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they came over doing their thing, and uh, our first round, UKG took them all Battered out. Battered it. Took them all out. The crowd decided, and it was a. Because who says UKG all stars? Oh, it was up there, bro. There was no feeling like it. Bro. We feel like, oh my days, that was just mad. That was wow. absolutely mad. And then after when we finished after we saw Wiley and the Melon behind us, around. that was a mad, that was a mad clash. Now you look first round was a ooh. Now they're going back to the lab. They're like, right, yeah. let's sort this out. Yeah. You look first round was a problem still, but you have made double everything, every tune you think is gonna be. No, no, I'm cussing. Yeah. I don't swear in none of my lyrics. When you hear me nah. spitting thing, I don't swear. And that one night there, they were like, oh my God, needs swore. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he, pulled out, he really pulled out the stops yeah. now. We're, we are yeah. are in he trouble. Like, flippy, dippy, dippy, do like mixed pack. Fucking hell, who are you? You know what I mean? Oh, my God, they swore. They swore. That alone. Get him around. Get him around, bro. Neat don't no swear. Nah, nah, nah. nah. He came up with profanities, man. Yeah. Right. Everyone yeah. stop. <laughs> Madness. It was, a, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that, that was old school, man. It was, it, it was a good old school clash. It mm. was so good. But yeah, Rodigan is the only man mm. who's got a fully... Fully, it went through the whole thing, changed up the whole thing. Other, other people have got like kind of generic ones. You just put the, the beginning piece, mm. whatever, whatever, drop it with the whatever, mm. whatever, drop it on it with the mm. whatever, whatever. Rodigan's got a full on change up everything. And given that he said, it, you know, and next time you saw him, he goes, I played in Newcastle last night. Seven reloads, place shut down. I thought, oh my day. Oh <laughs> yeah. my God. And he played it at, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the jungle thing. He didn't yeah. even know I was there. And then Charlotte Devaney. Um, yeah, big up Charlotte. Yeah, big up Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fabio's other half. Mm -hmm. I mean, and she looks, she goes, Neat's there. He's mm. over there. And he's like, oh my day. <laughs> it's the voice. It's yeah. the voice. Bro. It's everything about him. It's like, and you, when you. The, when, he looks like a school teacher, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like a school headmaster. That's the best bit, though. When you see him walk out, you think... Sonno is unassuming. Who yeah. Is this? Who's that? Yeah. I love that. That's Rodigan. Are you so... Oh, my days. Yeah. No, no, I've got to wait to hear him talk. <laughs> it's Rodigan. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> His voice must be on AI or something. Yeah. How did he talk? He's got the, one of the best, most iconic voices... Without question. ...on the planet. Without question. And uh, from, a, from a time of, like... You know, your Tony Blackburns and your John Pills and your... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was just... He just cut through everything, doesn't cut he? smooth, yeah. knowledgeable, mm. clarity you hear every word he said. Sound clashes against big sounds. Him one, him and his selector face. Yeah. Just the two of them. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, and the mighty crowd is over there. The whole of... You know, King Tubbies is a yeah. big 12 man over there. To, one man. Yeah, this random white guy come walking out with <laughs> his bald head and his crazy hat leaping all over the place. Yeah, yeah. With his kind of creamy off off brown yeah. light shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. And his clock boots in those days with his clock boots, his little his, his customized click suit. I said, God, Roddy Good, you're a bad man, bro. You know what I think some of it is is the confidence that he holds just by the knowledge he's attained. He knows. You can't you can't talk to him about about you can't. You know, he he is That's his he, weaponry. He cause he tells the other sounds about their song. <laughs> themselves. I can't embarrass them. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? You know you. <laughs> yeah. you. You mean, well, you didn't do it justice. Because if you go, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Marlon will tell you about it. He the pulls out there, another dub yeah. plate on him. Yeah. You mean, oh. you realise I will play the proper version. <laughs> Face, drop the tune. And then you, oh. 
Ticka, ticka, tuck, ride it on stuff for all my days. Come on. Just get online and find some old school Rodigan mixes, would you? Because this, this, this guy don't life. play. If yeah. you see, if you get, there's all on YouTube. You go on YouTube and you see Rodigan's clashing against this sound, that yeah, sound. Yeah, 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 you yeah, will yeah. not believe what you're watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? <laughs> you know, I'm telling you. And you see the crowd, they love Rodigan. They love Rodigan. They love him. Anyway, he they goes. They do, don't they? Yeah, he used to go to Jamaica every year and clash Barry G, who was Jamaica's number one, and deal with Barry G in Jamaica. In Jamaica. In there, in on home turf. The, the, his backyard. Yeah? Yeah, I'll come to you. It's fine. Yeah, no worries, bro. I'll no pay worries. for the flight. Yeah. I'll see you. I'll see you at yours. See you in a bit. <laughs> gonna, you're going to get slaughtered. You know, there's that kind of attitude. Yeah. Like, you got to yeah. rate it. Bad man. I don't, yeah, I, he, he, high accolades. I give yeah. him flowers all day long. Mm. High accolades. Certain men, they yeah. think, you know what? You really kind of helped shape a, shape a genre. Yeah. He really did. You know, when it comes to reggae and, 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 and dance all, he really has helped to shape a genre, a whole era. I mean, by mm. himself. I mm. mean, him and his, him and his selector face. That's it. Mm. You mean? Or his operator, he was a selector. So mm. This one, this one, this one, this one. Bang. I said, hold on, there's two of them. Mm. <laughs> Where's mm. the rest of them? And when you look at that sound over there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. There's, like, there's nine of them yeah. right over there. Right, there's 12 of them over yeah, there. But when you've got the best of the best, that's all you don't need the rest, innit? That was it. Yeah, yeah, that's why I read the Rebel Sound one. There was only four, you know, Chasing Status, Rage, mm. Rodigan. Mm. Packed up everybody. Everybody got it. Yeah? Every they had dub plates <laughs> scaring people. Scaring people. You can see them everyone suddenly like scratching their heads like, mm. rah, Can boy. you imagine though? Just, this, yeah. If Rodigan's on your team, if I yeah, we're going against Rodigan, I say I don't want to play no, no more. No, no, no. You know what I mean? Like, what am out. I going for? What's I'm just, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. out, I'm out now. It's, come on. You know when it's going to end up, it's going to go wrong. Yeah, it's going to go wrong. <laughs> it's going to go wrong, uh, bro. Your arse, will out, your arse will be out and you're going to have to be picking everything up and getting home pretty sharpish. It's, it's not going to be a good look. No. That's just how it is. I can be on Rodigan's team. I'm in. Yeah. I'm cancelling yeah, yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. I was getting married that day, but you know what? <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Can, life cancellation. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm putting it back a year, yeah? Just, uh, just one year. Yeah, yeah. It's going to take me a year to recover from the fact that I just was in Rodigan's team. Oh, dear. Look, I have to say, uh, you're one funny man. And I've not laughed so much on a podcast in fucking ages. When you talk about Don't Be Your Heroes, I mean, we've known each other for long enough, man. And it's always a pleasure having you here. And I swear to God, man. It's all, Thank it, you for yeah, man. Yeah, it was Honestly, a, it, was, it was a long process. Y'all don't know the process of trying <laughs> to get us and to, to make this, this happen. This, 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 this started. This was in the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Once. laughs> yeah. This is like one of those box trilogies of yeah, Lord yeah, of the Rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were episode seven hundred six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Netflix said, "Nah, no more, no more." No more. Yeah, it's like What's that. the future, man? What is the future for Luck and Neat? Well, I, I mean, like, say. Me and me and Joel as a, as a as Luck and Neat, we're still doing our thing. Mm. I mean, me individually, I've done a hell of a lot of music, mm. a lot of music on my own. Mm -hmm. We've all kind of people. I've done a I've done rock, I've done a rock tune. I did, I've done R and B. Mm. I've done a slow jam. Mm. I've done every single genre because I grew up on all music. All music, yeah. I mean, yeah. my style in garage is what I grew up on, which is like more like reggae. Dancehall, mm. gospel. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm walking around the house listening to Jim Reeves all day. My dad wired up some thing around the house so we couldn't escape. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jim Reeves is all chasing us. We think, oh, good God. But I grew up on everything, so that's what's come out. Nice. So my, my, my future is just to carry on doing what I'm doing. I mean, my kids still think I'm a semi cool dad. Mm -hmm, yeah, I keep mm -hmm. going until they tap me on the shoulder. And they say, stop, that ain't going to happen. The coolometer is running real low. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I'll put it on. <laughs> yeah. Till then. Yeah. Till then we've got you. And Til more then. music, please, sir. Yeah, no, I've, yeah, I've done it. I mean you'll be you you you'll be hearing you'll be hearing stuff. I mean, I have to send you. What I have to do, I have to start sending you some bits. Mm, yes, some please. Some exclusive stuff where but people never heard before Ooh, in their lives. Oh okay. yes, please. Yes, about that. Fresh to death. I'm in. <laughs> yep. My yeah. brother, pleasure having you on. You, MC bro. Neat. Oh my goodness! If you are entertained, then get back in that gladiatorial ring, because what we got here is consistency. Uh, multiple podcasts for you to check out um, from all walks of the genres of street culture. Um, listen, thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, crime don't pay, but neither did they. All right, don't talk to anyone, and I wouldn't, and stay lucky. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Woo!